I'm Chuck Sims with the Astronomical Society of Eastern Missouri, here to talk to you today about the Library Telescope Program. In this video, we're going to talk about how to align the red dot finder. Now, when you check this out from the library, the librarians or someone from your local sermon club should have already got this into alignment. So this is really more for those who need to learn how to do it, but if you have it and it seems to be really off, you can do it. Just please be careful. Um, if you go back to the video on the red dot finder, you remember there are three knobs on it. The middle one is the on or off, and you can hear it go on or off. And then you've got one underneath, which with your alignment will raise or lower the red dot, and then the one in the front, which will move it to the left or the right. So what you want to do is through the eyepiece, you want to find an object that you're going to align with. Usually the top of a telephone post or the exhaust vent on top of someone's house, but make sure it's, it's pretty far away, 500,000 feet at least, just for more accuracy. So what you're going to do is you're going to find that object, line it up as best you can with the red dot finder, hopefully it's not that far off, and then look in the eyepiece and see if you see it. If you don't see it, it's really that far off, then try to use this middle line right here to line it up. And so just kind of eyeball exactly where it's at, find it. With your eyepiece on the lowest magnification, get it in the middle, and then slowly zoom in. So get it in your highest magnification, and then make sure that it's right in the middle. Once you do that, then you're going to look back in the, or in the red dot finder. You're going to look for the red dot. And if it's too high, then you're going to use this lower knob to bring it down, or if it's too low, to bring it up. Just move it one way or the other. Then once you get it to the same level, then use the one to the left or right to move it to where right on top of your object. So look back in your eyepiece, make sure you haven't accidentally moved the telescope in any way. If it's still in the center, you're good. Do a quick test run, just with your red dot finder, move it to another object, and just make sure that that's in the eyepiece. Once you do that, then you're good. I hope you found this video informative. This concludes our video on the alignment of the red dot finder. Uh, thank you for your time and have fun stargazing.